Good evening everyone. My name is Kalpesh Rajput and I am a uh, student of Alma Better. Currently, I am pursuing master's degree in data science and artificial intelligence in uh, with the uh, uh, Wolf University. This is my fourth capstone project name is Netflix movie and TV show clustering. Before that, I made the for three projects. First, my project is the regression project and second one is the classification progress and first one was my EDA project and this is my fourth project on clustering. So this is my collab notebook where I write all the code and for the uh, explanation I make this technical notebook to explain my whole the project. Now let's start with the abstract. The Netflix movie and TV show clustering project is a machine learning project that aim to group similar movies and the TV show available on the Netflix platform into cluster based on their share attributes. The project uses unsupervised learning technique to analyze the data set including k-means, hierarchical clustering and the db-scan algorithm. As discussed, this is my fourth caption project on clustering and this is the unsupervised learning project. Uh, supervised and classification projects I already completed. Uh, you, If you want to see this project, you, uh, this is my github link. I also mentioned my github link in the uh, my collab notebook. You can easily access from there. And now moving to by the clustering the data, the project aims to identify patterns in the content available on Netflix, which can be used to improve the platform's recommendation system and provide the better view viewing suggestion to its user. Table contents. What's our table? Uh, all our all, all the project contents. First is the abstract, the table contents, list of terms. And third is acknowledgements, problem statement, introduction, backgrounds, material and apartments, procedure and conclusion. Conclusion number is main. Now, first is the list of terms. What is feature engineering? What we are uh, doing in this project? I mentioned all the things in list of terms. First is feature engineering. The pre-processing step of machine learning which extract features from raw data. Uh, second one is univariate analysis. Univariate analysis explore each variable in the data set separately. Bivariate analysis. The bivariate analysis is will measure correlation between the two variables. Multivariate analysis is a statistical procedure for the analyze of the data involving more than two types of measurement of observation. Third is acknowledgement. Thank you, Alma Better, for your help and support in completing my machine learning project. Your guidelines and the advice was invaluable. I am grateful for all your help and provided. As we all of know, the data set is also provided from the Alma Better and the template of the project, like guidelines for our project, how to make that project, we uh, get it from the Alma Better. Now the problem statement. The dataset consists of the TV show and movies available on Netflix as of 2019. The dataset is collected from the Flexible, which is third-party Netflix search engine. In 2018, they released an interesting report which showed that the number of TV shows on Netflix has nearly tripled since 2010. The streaming service number of movies has decreased by the more than 200 titles since 2010 while its number of tv show has nearly tripled it will be interesting to explore what all other insights can be obtained from the same data sets sorry for disturbing someone is knocking my door now let's start integrating this data set with other external data sets such as idb imdb rating Protein, tomatoes can also provide by many interesting findings. In this project, you are required to do. What are the things we have to do in this project? I mean, below. First is exploratory data analysis. We have to do some EDA on our uh, for the our data set cleaning and the uh, looking like uh, making prepare for the uh, clustering. Second, understanding what type of content is available in different countries. Is Netflix has increasingly focusing on TV rather than the movies in recent years. Uh, last one is clustering. Similar content by matching text-based features. 
attributes information what are the attributes we are we have in our data set show id unique id for every movie tv show type identify a movie or tv show title title of movie tv show director director of name and what is tv show third is cast country date added and the release year uh, rating duration list in description we all uh, we all the these things we are seeing this here all the attribute information i also mentioned in the collab network you can easily find out from there now the introduction the netflix movie and the tv show clustering project aim to cluster similar movie and tv show available on netflix into different cluster based on their content the project begin with data collected from the third party netflix search engine which contain information about more than 7000 movies and tv show available on the platform uh, second is the background by clustering the data the project aim to identify patterns in content available on the netflix which can be used to improve the platform recommendation system and uh, provide better viewing suggestion to its user the result of this project can also be useful uh, to content creator and the procedure who are looking to understand what type of content are popular among viewers what are the materials and the apertures materials computer a desktop or a laptop which is operating system capable or running machine learning algorithm is essential for any machine learning project because we have not much used data so we are capable with the normal laptop also the second data data set are essential components of any machine learning project the type of data required for a specific project will depend on type of machine learning task it is being used for third is software machine learning algorithm need to be uh, implemented in a programming uh, language popular choice are python use libraries what uh, which libraries are we are using in this project libraries are collected from pre written function that can be used in implementation of machine learning uh, algorithm popular libraries include scikit-learn python numpy as usual apart apartus gpu graphic processing unit are specialized hardware used to speed up the training process of machine learning algorithm gpus can significantly reduce the time required to train machine learning if you um, uh, laptop or the desktop is not cap uh, much capable for uh, gpu then you take so much time to training and testing the data set what is the procedure import and load import loading and inspection of the data after importing the data set we are look at its column and shape the info uh, information this is the python key we are using to uh, uh, get information of our data set uh, if, uh, this is the this is the code for the information we get all the uh, information of our data set what is uh, is the data is null or not null uh, what is the type of the data how much rows are available and how much columns are there in our data set then using the describe function we can determine determine to fundamental characteristic of each variable such as the mean median count and so on we can better comprehend the meaning of the variable thanks to the supply variable description this help to understand the data set handling duplicate values this is the uh, most important task in our data set to handle the to handle the duplicate value are available in our data set fortunately there are not any duplicate value in our data set but if there are you can get rid of them with the drop duplicate method by replacing it uh, as we see our data set does not have the duplicate value in case if you have the duplicate values available in data set you can use drop duplicated to do, uh, drop this duplicate value handling null value because there are num uh, numerous null values for features such as director cast and country those null value cannot be dropped instead they have been replaced with the director and available cast 
unavailable and country available and repeatedly as we know the we have uh, null values are available in our data set but we cannot drop this value because these values are important for our training and testing purpose so we have to replace this value with mean medium well medium of the column otherwise with zero features such as a date added and rating have a very low number of null values so we drop those null values as we see the date added and rating column has very low, low amount of null values so we can easily drop this null value but if we have the more null values we are not uh, are dropping them just because you know, our training and testing accuracy fails that time handling outliers box plot and dis, uh, distribution plot are used to detect outliers the in, in quartile range approach is used to e eliminate outliers from the data uh, for handling the outliers we have to use in quartile range like we making the 0.25 and 0.75 quartile range to manage hand, uh, uh, our outliers feature engineering and data wrangling using feature engineering we generate new variables from the original one now then eda exploratory data analysis we use a count plot bar plot line plot heat map box plot and the distribution plot for exploratory data analysis univariant bivariant and multivariant analysis we are performed using statistical technique and the result relieving insightful information data pre-processing textual data processing we process text data from the description variable by removing punctuation stop words white space emails html tags url special character and the digit vectorize after lemmatization using tdf idf vectorizer and got a tf idf matrix for feeding to model as input this is the pre-processing step we have to do in our project for uh, this is the most important step for the uh, yeah, getting best accuracy uh, data pre-processing fitting different machine learning model uh, we have to use different kind of model to get best accuracy for our data set we have uh, we are making the recommendation system for that we uh, we get uh, we want the perfect accuracy for our data set no, so why if any person search the any movie then he gets the relevant all the recommended movie at that time we train various clustering and algorithms such as k-mean clustering hierarchical clustering and the db scan the several clustering models were trained using the sklearn library and the prediction were made nine evolution of our model after doing the all the things we have to evaluate our uh, model and for the checking the recommended system is work well or not metrics including uh sci sci score colony score uh, herbaz score and the dice baldin score were used to further access the model model k means clustering top all classification evaluation metrics among all different implemented models Finally, after evaluation of our model, we made the conclusion that we tested, we test numerous machine learning models and, and assess them using different classification evolution metrics. The KMS clustering model comes to closest to have having the highest score on all classification evaluation metrics. The KMS clustering model is optimal model and well trained for clustering TV show and the movie based on the content due to its high Karenskin Hartbanzan score 9.039247, the Sayud score is 0 0.004634, which are the closer to one than other building models. After uh, evaluation of the model, we finally make the conclusion uh, K in clustering is the suitable model for our data set. After uh, this is my capstone project, and now we moving to the our collab notebook and see how to uh, how I write my code and other things. First thing, made title, project type, uh, contribution. I alone make this project, so I make the contribution is individual. This is my GitHub link. 
i also provide this link in a description tab you can uh, easily open this link and access my all collab notebook project summary this data set consists of the tv show and movie show available on netflix in 2019 data set collected from a flexible which is third party as we already talk about this uh, paragraph uh, we have pending with this the data set contain about 7787 record and the 11 attributes we began by dealing with the data sets missing value and doing exploratory data analysis eda which is short form of exploratory data analysis creating clustering using the following attributes director cast country general and the rating description the value in these attributes were tokenized uh, processed and then vectorized using tfidf vector we use the principal component analysis P, uh, short form is PCA to handle their curves of dimensionality. We build two types of cluster using the K-min cluster and al agglomerative hierarchical clustering algorithm to find out optimal number of cluster using different techniques such as elbow method, Sahut mesh score, and dendrogram. The content-based recommender system was built using the similarity matrix obtained after using cosine similarity. The recommender system will make 10 recommendations to the user based on the type of show they watch. These are the general guidelines now that we are uh, consider while making this project. This is problem statement as we already show this problem statement in our technical notebook. First, uh, first thing you have to import all the necessary libraries to uh, do this project. I also uh, import the pandas and numpy matplotlib uh, c bone libraries first thing. Then we are uh, import NLTK for the natural language processing. Then we are feature extraction, text, and all are the libraries are importing for the further. Then we are importing our data set. We are importing from it drive. I also provide the data set link. Uh, in my description tab you can easily access from there first thing we have to check top five rows these are the uh, show id type like say tv show or movie title title is in percentage director name we can see the first entry is as nan uh, the second value and third on the third uh, fifth column is the cast of which cast is, uh, is in this movie or the, the tv show uh, then the country data added date added like which date is uh, this uh, added in the Netflix and what is the release year what are the ratings of these duration what is the duration like uh, just like this second this is a movie and this is uh, available in seasons then season four this kind of data. then we can check the last five rows as you can see we can also see the data set size we have 7787 uh, rows and 12 columns uh, we also find the unique values show id has uh, all the unique values type has two unique values as we can see that these are our all the attributes are here as we can see in technical notebook, we have the information of our data set. You can use df.info uh, to take information of your data set. There are, we can see that we, this uh, information show the 7,787 entries are there available and the total 12 columns are there. We can also see show ID has 7,007 and we can see the director has a null values available in this and data type is object this release here has the integer 64 uh, data type then also we can check the duplicate values as we discussed we don't have any duplicate value for if you want to check the duplicate value you can use df dot duplicated and yeah we want sum of all the duplicate value then we can put dot sum there as per our output we can see that we don't have any duplicate value in our data set then we have to deal with null values as we can see we have null values are available in director column cast column country column and date added 
as we discussed that added release year and the rating column has uh, have the less amount of uh, missing values so we can easily drop these columns not the column uh, we can easily drop this row then we can see director column and cast and country these three columns uh, have the most amount number of uh, null values so we have to uh, replace them by the median of that column then we can check the percentage of null values the director column has 30 percent of the null values cast column has nine percent and country column has six percent null values then we also uh, uh, after that we also plot the bar for checking the null values uh, and so check the missing values uh, by using a uh, missing go chart missing go library sorry then we also plot a heat map to check the null value we also check the rating column also as a uh, null values we up to above from above the chat null value are present in our director cast country and data added uh, and the rating column all the data that we have is really related to each specific movie so we can't input any null value with the using method also we don't want to lose any data since the data size is small for reason we simply input none values with empty string is below proceed after analyzing each column attributes name we also plot and uh, print all the columns name then we are doing the statistical summary using df dot describe this uh, including all it is include all the measures and we making transfers to transpose our data as we can see all the description of our data set then we also count the unique values uh, in our all the data set then we are doing some eda on our data set very first step before you can performing any change to data set or develop a statistical model to answer business problem in the other word the problem the process of eda contains summarizing visualizing and getting deeply acquired with the important train of the data set type of column we also check the type of column that has n unique value we also plotting the chart to see value count and the percentage of distribution greater number of count belong from movie class and then tv class 69 percent of data belong from movie class and 31 percent of data belong from tv show title of the column we also check the title of the column uh, 7197 row has the title then we also do uh, doing the text document to see the text using the word cloud library we use this core uh, text to check from above chart we can see that word list like christmas love word man story are very content common word which are appear most uh, of the time in the movie column then we check the director column in the checking the unique and null values then after we are checking the movies that are directed by a director Sorry for the disturbance. Cast column. Cast column df cast dot str split explain. We also check the cast column uh, for the all taking the counts of that. Then we are doing some uh, separate TV actor from the cast. We are separating the uh, uh, TV actor name from the cast. Also plotting the actor who appear highest name number of the TV show. Also separating movie actor from the cast column. Plotting actor who appear highest number of the movies. From the chart, we can easily see that the Tagore Sugaga is, is uh, I don't also uh, know about him, but from the name, I guess this is Japanese. Observation is our Anupam Kher, Shah Rukh Khan, 
Om Puri playing highest number of role in the movies. Tagore is fine. Yogi Yogi Kai. I don't know about that. But these are the also most famous actors. Then we also observe the country column. Then we can easily plot our top 10 country with the highest number of movie and the TV show. This is the observation. The highest number of TV movie and TV show were based out of US followed by India and UK. Then we can uh, also analyze the release year column. From this, we also checking that rating. We also check the rating column. We checking the rating given for the movies and TV show. How much rating the TV show and the movie get? Observation: Most uh, most of movies and TV show have rating of TVA, a uh, mature audience. Then following by the TV uh, fourteen is the younger audience. Highest number of rating given for the movie as compared to TV show. It's uh, it is pretty obs obvious because the highest highest number of the category belong from movie class as we can see earlier in type of column. List in column. We also use the df dot head to print all the data of top five rows in our column. Then we are also checking the genres are present in our Netflix data set. We have uh, we are plotting the graph and check there is international uh, movies have the most number of genres 2,323 genres are available. Highest number of genres belong from the international movie, drama, comedy and respectively. Least number of genres belong from the classic and the cult TV and TV thrill stand up comedy from the talkative show. We also check the text document for the uh, for our what we are doing. We also most common word present in our description column are family, find, life, love, new, world and friend. We can easily figure out from this word the families contain the family love with the find, new and the man other things. Then we are moving to the data cleaning process. We as a part of VDA, data cleaning is most important part of our data set. We are also checking duplicate value. There is no duplicate value handling missing value. We also see that there is no missing value are available in our data set. As this notebook you are collecting from this. Then we are doing sub NLP processing. We are also uh, removing stop words and the punctuations from our data sets using TFID factor. Then also we use clustering implementation. This is most uh, significant step in our data set in our project. The K means clustering. For that, we also uh, initialize a list of store sum of square error for each value of K. Then we are checking all the data set as we see that. We also do the clustering on the description data set. We can easily find the life, find, love, main, friend, are most frequently come and this is our column cast column we also uh, one by one checking all the columns uh, of the text column then we are doing hierarchical clustering using the dendrogram this is the dendrogram then we again checking all the nlp uh, uh, words uh, most frequently words are available in all the columns then we finally made the recommendation system. Where is the code for it? This is the code for the recommendation system we are doing. And we check the recommend for root root or the we can see this recommendation list are available for us. And finally, we made the conclusion. In this project, we work on the text clustering problem where wherein we had to classify group the Netflix show into certain clusters such that the show within a cluster are similar to each other and how show different in different cluster are dissimilar to each other. The data set contain about 700 we can also see that it was founded that Netflix hosts more movies than TV show on its platform. The total number of uh, shows added on Netflix is growing experimentally also majority of the show were produced in the United States. It was decided to cluster the database on the attributes are the director, cast and country, genders rating and the description. 
the value in these attributes were tokenized through the processing and then vectorized using the TFID vector. We also use the TFID vectorized for the natural language processing in our dataset. Through the TFID vectorized, we create a total 10,000 attributes. We use principal component analysis, which is the short form is PCA, to handle the curves of the dimensionality. 3,000 components were available to capture more than 80% of variance. At the hands, the number of components were restricted to 3,000. We first built a clustering we, uh, using the KMS clustering algorithm and the optimal number of clusters comes out to be 5. This was obtained through the elbow and the sci-hood method, sci method by the user analysis. Then cluster were built using the el algomative clustering algorithm and the optimal number of clusters come out to be 7. This was obtained after visualizing the dendrogram. A content-based recommender system was built using the similarity matrix obtained after using cosine similarity. The recommender system will make 10 recommendations to user based on the type of show they watch. Hooray! We have successfully completed our unsupervised learning Caxton project. So this is from my end and I also upload this video on the YouTube. If you want the this data set link, you, you can take from there. Thank you so much.